Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make a delicious white chocolate choco flan. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious dessert, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe we're going to need one box of red velvet cake mix, one cup and a half of white chocolate, four eggs, four ounces of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Alright, so now we're going to grab our baking dish or a skillet big enough to fit our abundant pan. And just fill it up halfway with water. So we're going to stick it in our oven. Okay, and now we're going to work on our flan. Alright, so for our white chocolate flan, we're going to begin by melting our white chocolate. And you can also do this in the microwave but I'm just grabbing a little pan with water and I'm just going to melt the chocolate. And I have it set on medium heat. So just make sure that you're turning it around so that they don't burn. So once our water comes to a boil, I'm just going to turn it off and with the same heat, I'm just going to continue to mix around the white chocolate until everything is fully melted. All right, so once our white chocolate is all nice and melted, we're just going to remove it from the heat and allow it to cool down. Okay, so now we're going to grab our bun pan and we're going to lightly spray it with some non-sticking cooking spray. Make sure that you get every edge. And just remove the excess. Okay, now we're just going to set it to the side. And now we're just going to melt our sugar to make our caramel. So I have it set on medium heat, just going to throw my sugar in there. Now, of course, if you don't wanna make your own caramel, you can always use this one here. It's exactly the same. Just melt the sugar. So this is going to take a few minutes. So meanwhile, the white chocolate cools down. Okay, so once our sugar looks like this, turn it off and just keep mixing until everything is nice and melted. You don't want your sugar to burn. Okay, so once our sugar has fully melted, now we're going to transfer it into our bun pan. Okay, so just move it around. Okay, and now we can make our white chocolate flan. All right, so for our flan, we're going to begin by mixing our cream cheese and just make sure that it is at room temperature. And to that, we're going to add half of the condensed milk. Just because the white chocolate's already sweet, you don't want it to be super sweet. Okay, so just mix it together. So just mix until everything is nice and creamy. All right, so once our cream cheese is nice and creamy and it looks like this, now we're going to add our white chocolate and just make sure that it is not hot. Okay, we're going to add our evaporated milk. And the vanilla. So just mix. All right, so once that's mixed, you can try it and see if it's sweet enough for you. And if you wanna add more um, condensed milk, you can go ahead and add it. For me, it's perfect. So now we're going to add our eggs and just mix it. Okay, so continue whisking until everything is nice and smooth. All right, so once we have our white chocolate flan mixture, now we're going to top it on top of our sugar. So just pour it. Okay, so now we're going to put it in our oven. So just be careful. And now we're going to bake for 55 minutes. Alrighty guys, so a couple minutes before our flan is ready, we're just going to make our cake mix. So just follow the directions on the box. So I'm just going to replace the water for milk. Mix it. Got the oil. And milk. Okay, so just keep mixing. Okay, so once we have our cake mix, now we're just going to wait for our flan. All right guys, so after 55 minutes, we're going to get the flan out. And now we're going to add 
our cake mix batter. So just go all around it. And at this point, the fun is not ready yet. Okay, so now just make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now we're going to get a piece of foil. We're just going to spray it and we're going to cover our flan and cake. Okay, so we're going to put it back in the oven and let that bake for another 43 minutes. All right guys, so after 43 minutes, we're going to get our cake out. Just be careful. All right, so we're carefully going to remove it from the water bath. And of course, just make sure you check it. Just use a toothpick. Poke it. Okay. And now we're just going to allow it to cool down. Okay, guys, so after an hour, it is safe for us to now flip our choco flan. So we're just going to grab it. Flip it over. Let me put it over here. Okay, so just give it a couple seconds so like that the flan and the cake can come out of the uh, mold. And now just pull apart. Look at that, so delicious, perfect every single time. Okay, now of course you can allow it to cool down completely, put it in the refrigerator, or you can cut into it. Um, but now we are ready to enjoy our delicious choco flan. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So of course you can decorate your choco flan all nice and pretty. Uh, so now we're just going to grab our knife, cut it, grab the other side. Let me show you how pretty, perfect every single time. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I am so ready. This dessert is seriously perfect for the upcoming holidays, for Christmas especially. So hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. So cheers and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Seriously, super delicious. The white chocolate flan. The red velvet cake, best combination. So good. Mm. The best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how I make a delicious white chocolate choco flan. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.